I just want to hear the car again. I just want to start it. It just doesn't get old. It sounds so good still. I know it's a little difficult to hear, but we got a check engine light. But the check engine light's for the EVAP sensor, as well as the air pump, so. I think it finally picked those up. So it definitely smells a lot more fuely today. A little more fuely, like I said in the previous video, the, uh, the revised tune from Surge Line should fix those issues. I'm just so happy to have it running. Let me turn the car off real quick. Actually, let me give you a little rev, then we'll shut it off. So some exciting stuff today. Guess what? You guys get to meet Matt, finally. So the lady and I, we have uh, we have the buyers of the house come through. They wanna do another walk through the house. They have the inspection tomorrow. So I think they just wanna take another peek at it. But we're going up to Matt's today. We're gonna help him, or we're just gonna hang out, help him fix his Outback. So he has a 400 wheel horsepower Outback XT. It's like a 2008 with a built five EAT in it. Really cool car, but one of the gaskets that goes from his TGVs down to his block, like literally blew out. Like there's a crack going all the way through it. I'll show you guys when we get up there. So we're gonna go hang out up at Matt's today. Get out of the garage again. You guys wanted some more vlog style stuff. So let's do them. So let's hop in the car. Let's get out of here. You ready? Yeah, we leave it right now. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Oh, come here. Oh my gosh, you're so excited. I know. For my side, can I do a baguette? Yeah, and did you want to cover a bowl of that too? Ooh. Small dose. It's Matt. Matt is a real person. So like I was saying earlier, today we're gonna to be fixing, we're gonna be playing with his Outback. So one of the gaskets, like I said, that goes from the TGV to the intake manifold, blew, did it blow out? Yeah. It blew out. So we are going to swap it's that. Too much boost or it's been like that for forever? Or not? Yeah, when did you get that? I don't know, I got it a couple months ago. My point shoot when well, I don't I've wanna, never seen it. When I don't want to walk around with the USR. The USR is massive. So Matt's got a pretty gnarly. Would you call it gnarly? No. He's got a pretty cool outback. <laughs> you don't see a lot of built outbacks running around. Oh geez, I'm really blown out. So you don't see a lot of built outbacks running around. He has a woman performance block, built five e five EAT, all the good stuff that goes with it. But right Right back there, the TGV delete that connects down to the block kind of blew out. Once we get the gasket out, I'll kind of show you guys, but we're just gonna start disassembling, tearing all this stuff apart. Also, here's that crazy neon that I kind of told you guys about that he has, and like the crazy engine for it. The neon would demolish a lot of cars. How much power did you say the neon would make? Around seven. Around 700, that's... Put this on Chewy, put the turbo on Chewy. I wanna, let's get the neon fixed when I move it. Oh! So this is actually, where we're gonna be moving to in the house cells. So the STI will be sitting where the pile of boxes is. Matt and I need to clean out the garage at some point still. So it's, oh my God, focus! So this is where we're gonna be moving in about a month. The house closes on June 2nd. So in about a month, we'll be up here. So we're gonna be doing some work in the garage, gonna get spick span, ready to go, all clean, organized, and lit. Not, not like party lit, but like actual lit, like lighting lit. So these are the gaskets that Matt's going to be running in the car. These are not like any TGV gaskets I've seen. Apparently there's what, special order? Well, there's special order, but they're actually what pull up if you go on my van. So these are these are the actual they're gaskets. They're apparently made for a 255 for Outbacks, Legacies, they're and weird. Foresters. Well, you said you wanted metal ones. Yeah. So you got metal ones. Yeah. But these are apparently OEM. Okay. Yeah, They're works. not what's on there at all right now, so. Uh, how do you want to go about tearing this thing apart? Just ripping shit apart. Just ripping it apart. Just... All right. So. Well, I'm just going to get the camera set up as a time lapse. We're going to run through this. When we get to like a cool stopping point or something like that, I'll show you guys. These are the other gaskets that we're going to be putting in it. They're also very funky gaskets. Plastic manifold. Plastic manifold gaskets. That's yep. weird. It's weird. So, like I said, I'm going to get this thing set up and uh, we're just going to start running through this. You know, so we got the intake manifold pulled off, much different than the STI. I, I mean, obviously it's one of the plastic intake manifolds. Mounts, mounts exactly the same though. So we need to make a trip to O'Reilly's to be able to get some of this stuff out. So we're gonna go over and run to the store. So, so far everything's been pretty smooth. 
Here, we'll bring it just in case. We'll bring the Allen key just in case, Matt. Zip ties, dude, zip ties. Oh, zip ties. Everything all in one spot. No, you want the bundle. Why are these like so massive? Right here, just get these like standard 11 inch cable ties. Dude, what are you doing? It's all plastic. All right, we have returned. We had to grab some tools to be able to get the TGVs off of the block. They were like, this, they're same as mine. They're a six millimeter Allen and his were on there very tight. So we grabbed, did it work? It worked. So we're about, we're about to pull the TGVs off and uh, check out the gaskets. I am curious to see what the quote unquote blown one looks like. You know, I don't, we'll take a look at it in a sec. All right, so you can see where it blew out. It's leaking out. What gaskets were those? Boost. Uh, I don't know. I'm assuming Grimspeed or the those early were, model of IEG. Those are fucking nasty, but, dude. Yeah, cleaning this off is going to be fun. The most enjoyable thing I've ever done. Fun. He also has a hard turbo inlet. Hopefully it's not. All we did, we lifted the intake manifold, we lifted the TGV off the uh, heads, and we were able to just pull those gaskets out. I wanted to just pull it all out. Matt wanted to go the easier route. So a lot of quirks to my car that make doing simple things not so simple. He's running the Blausch 1.5 XTR also. It's a good looking turbo back there. All right, well, I guess we're gonna figure out on the best way to clean these gaskets and then uh, swap over to these like weird OEM 255 gaskets. So let's start scraping away. Uh, so I wanna show you guys, Matt uses the, the Grimspeed air oil separator as you can see right there. Look inside of his turbo inlet right there. There's legit a pool of oil down there. Don't do that. He has an IAG one sitting around that we should probably throw on the car also. Yeah. But uh, that's why I always say, don't use the Grimspeed AOS. There's legit a, look, I'll, my finger is clean, right? Oh my God, dude, that's like straight schmoo. Oh yeah, don't use the Grimspeed AOS. I need to wipe this off. <laughs> <laughs> So we're gonna eat these pop stickers and chips real quick and we'll get the car started. If you haven't heard Matt's car, Matt's car's been on the channel before, but I know there's a lot of new people that haven't seen it. It's been on the what? It's been on the channel. The channel? The channel. Welcome to the channel. It's been on the channel before. Like my third, fourth, or fifth video, I don't remember which one it was. Ooh. I can feel the difference in throttle response. Ooh. That's good. So we let the car relearn for probably about 10 minutes or so. Out about driving around. I feel like we're hunting for a boost and we're doing some relearning to do, but... I mean, those TGV gaskets were pretty fucked. Yeah. They were, they were so bad. So he was using those, like, these weird paper gaskets. It looked similar to what I put in my car. It is, what I'm noticing is coming to a stop, it's still kind of hunting back down, but that's probably just relearn. Is it not as bad? No. I think it was bad before. I mean, look. So I mean, it's still 16. 16, 16 hanging out. 17, 14, 18. But like when you're on throttle, it seems to be doing pretty well. No brake lines? <laughs> just he just my third brake line. Dude, give me, give all, me just a little bit. All just he, a little bit of info. All he needs is the one brake line. I'm gonna just let you know. <laughs> as long as you're a tall person, you can see the top. <laughs> That's all you need. That's all you need. Don't need the bottom ones. If it's raining, just no stay away from me because you don't know if I'm breaking or not. All right. I got my car wrapped. I'm running. <laughs> grab a drink. Be right back. He has so many trees. Yeah, this is a uh, solid motor mounts for you. Everything just vibrates. The whole thing. Your butt, your back, Dude, your the dash. Whole, the whole mouth, like. I just want to feel it if I was like. Yeah, that's. Yeah. There goes something. So. A line blew off the car. Don't know what it is yet, but we're gonna figure it out. Find out. Nigger. I don't know. I appreciate you. Appreciate you. Oh my god. Aha! You find it? So the, the coupler from the top mount to the turbo, on the turbo side it was a little loose, so we went through, we just retightened everything, so hopefully it's all hunky dory good now and the, uh, the turbo actually pushes air. Turbo side was a little loose. <laughs> As in off, it came yeah. off. Okay, it was off. It came off! <laughs> you don't have to lie. Oh my god, dude, it's stupid bright out. Your floor mats are so slippery. 
<laughs> you have the same ones. I don't have these. Oh. I thought you did. In what car? The BRZ? I don't know. Or the STI? Holy shit. Um, I can say it's faster than before. How many PSIs was that? I was 27. You made the camera on focus. <laughs> <laughs> I see you over there, Mr. Officer. So bright. Oh, it just wants it. When I take it up that eye, it just wants it. Yeah, I know. It tries to spool when I'm not even trying to, like, it wants it. Just light on the throttle, and when it gets to a certain point, oh, it, like, tries it. Jesus. Do you want it? Chewy is fixed. Mission successful. Those old gaskets were trash. Look at this. I don't understand, dude. It's like sunny and it's like wet and it's raining. There's like it's water. It's no longer raining, but it's still. This looks so weird if you don't look up. There's just like, it's like water, wow. but it's like sunny, but there's water. I don't, I don't understand it. Problems. Uh, we're about to head out. We've been here a little while. We've been playing games, eating some food. Sam made some really good like taco soup. <laughs> like super Sorry. good taco soup. So we're about to we're about to head home. Not gonna record any of the drive back. We're just gonna, kind of, you know, we're just gonna go there. Oh, all right, we are back in the house. It's been a good day. It was fun helping Matt out. I know some of you guys wanted to know who Matt was and meet Matt. So there you have it. There you go. And as promised, we're gonna be doing more of these vlog style videos because I like getting out of the house. I like shooting some other stuff outside of the garage. Plus, it was kind of sh cool to show you guys the garage that we're going to be moving into and the space we're going to be utilizing. So I'm super pumped to be jumping over there in the next month or so as the uh, as the house sells and whatnot. So super excited. But with that, I'm going to end the video here. So if you guys like the vlog ones, like some of you guys said you did, go ahead, hit that like button and turn it blue like the blue light on the thing. There's no Subaru in here, so I can't make it rhyme. But anyways, if you guys are not subscribed and you are considering, I would greatly appreciate it. Let's do it in one of these corners. Don't know which one quite yet, but with that, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, homies. Woo!